18 and I came up for my I came up and saw Summer Salt in 2000. It was the first time I ever went to a concert and I was just young and wide-eyed and I had a, had a pretty good time there. That was that was one of the best times. I was a big Smashing Pumpkins fan at the time. So seeing them was a, a big thing to me. Probably just biking around in the fall. I love just, you know, just anytime I'm on my bike in, in Halifax. In what kind of bike do you have? Uh, I have an Opus road bike. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's great. It's fast. And I love cruising around and, and passing cars on my bike. And have you got have you gotten hit before? Pardon me? Have you gotten hit before? Yeah, I have. Uh, I was recently actually very close to here, uh, the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. I was on Lower Water Street. And... Uh, a woman turned in front of me, and I had no time. I slammed on my brakes, and she ran over my front wheel, and I had to ditch my bike. I'm very sad about it. I think probably finding there's this pregnant white cat that's always on the west side, and then there's this pregnant black cat that's always on the north side, and it was just neat to find they're kind of like doppelgangers of pregnant cat world. I know it's kind of weird, but it is my favorite Halifax thing that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, probably going down to Black Rock Beach uh, on NATO Day. They used to have bands just to play on top of the old uh, washroom place down there. Oh, really? And uh, they don't do that anywhere now because the beach has been closed for years, you know, due to the, due to the harbor. <laughs> uh, best memory in Halifax? Uh, I think uh, Pop Explosion, seeing Arcade Fire a couple years ago was... Like it always goes down as like one of those shows that like if you missed it you missed one of the best shows in Halifax type thing. I think I remember my first beer in Halifax in the O'Carroll's Tavern, which is now closed to be allegedly redeveloped as a historic property. But I was here in a job interview for a mechanical engineering job, and I said, "What have you got on tap?" And they said, "This, this, and this." And they said, "Propeller." I said, "Well, I'll have a propeller beer because that's a mechanical part." And so I love the microbrew in Halifax. That's my memory. Um, and again, I think I have to go back to my first summer in, uh, in Halifax, and it was the same sort of feeling, uh, having that small town maritime feel. But uh, I think, what's the uh, saying? It's uh, big enough for a symphony orchestra, but uh, too small for an affair. Like, it's a like, comfortable, uh, comfortable feeling. Well, you know, I went to art school here, and I left it for many years, and I always remembered the uh, you know, basically, having li I was living in Dartmouth. I remember having parties there in Dartmouth and, and wandering back across the bridge with friends, walking back home. Uh, I remember the, the sort of feeling of Halifax being a place where I, as a young person coming, uh, sort of becoming an adult, right, was, was felt like it was a place I could nap. You know? but, uh, I really have a great memory, like the first one that came to mind, of breaking into the or like hopping the fence into the graveyard across from the public gardens where Alexander Keith is buried and just like being a little bit wasted in there and like it's really beautiful there and just having like an awesome time with a friend and it was like I felt like I was living a Smith's record. My earliest memory of Halifax is the snow. <laughs> I got stuck uh, going down the ramp to McMack Mall and that was my earliest memory of Halifax. Having a, a firecracker fight with uh, some of my buddies and uh, they were putting firecrackers into snowballs and throwing them at my car. So we uh, filled up a tank of gasoline, opened the car door, poured the gasoline down the snowy street, lit the match and lit the whole street on fire to get back at my friend. And then he had to deal with all the neighbors that were complaining that the middle of the street was on fire.